Stephen King, one of the world's most known authors, who is truly creative, especially when it comes to making horror stories. With so many horror movies written these days, it's very hard to find ones that are truly unique, and I definitely find that Stephen King hits the nail on the head when it comes to uniqueness. So today we are going to be looking at the top 10 most scariest horror movies by Stephen King. Starting in 10th place, we have the 1983 classic that was in fact Christine. This is a very early on Stephen King movie. This movie starts off where we follow a high school student, Arnie, and his friend who go and buy an old 1958 Plymouth Fury car called Christine off of an elderly man with a back brace. Doing up the car, returning back to school after the summer, he definitely gets a lot of attention from the car. However, as time goes on, very weird things start to happen and mysterious stories start to go around. Starting off with how the last owner of the car actually died in it and his daughter choked to death in it. And after time, we actually realized that the beautiful car that we thought he owned is actually haunted and possessed by a vengeful spirit seeking revenge by committing multiple murders around the town before somehow completely restoring itself. Yes, that's right, the car restores itself. This might not sound super scary, but watching the movie, you will really get a feel for evil. And this movie is definitely one of the darkest films of the early 80s. But coming in at ninth place now, we actually have a 2017 movie, which is indeed 1922. So a fairly new movie from one of Stephen King's, and it's safe to say, yes again, it's very creepy, and yet again, very evil. Based in 1922, on a farm, Wilfred and his wife and their 14-year-old son live what we presume is a happy life. One day, Wilfred's wife brings up that she actually wants to move from the family farm and go to the Nebraska. But that is not at all what Wilfred and their son Henry wanted. So instead, telling his wife, making her think everything's fine and they're happy to move, he actually decides to one day murder her with the assistance of their son, before dumping her body into a dried well for the rats to feed on. Henry, their son, then finds out his girlfriend was actually pregnant with their child and her parents actually wanted to send her away to a Catholic institution where she will remain until the baby is born and then they'll have to give them up for adoption. The two of them decide to run away together to escape their fears and nightmares back in their homes. This leaves Wilfred on his own and he slowly goes insane as he constantly is getting harassed by rats and is even confronted by the ghost of his wife who is surrounded by rats eating at her body. Ironically, as Wilfred lets everything around him fall apart, the house begins to collapse and rats start to fill in the house, with one biting his hand and resulting in it needing to be amputated from an infection. The movie finishes with an even darker turn, but I'll let you guys watch the movie to find out the rest. So moving on to number 8 movie here, we do in fact have Carrie. And yes, this is another classic made in 1976. However, there is also an adaptation movie from 2013, although both based off of the Stephen King novel. This movie follows the same plot around a girl, Carrie, who is incredibly shy, unpopular, and is always trying to fit in and do whatever is best. With pressure from a religious mother, her telekinetic powers were difficult to hold back at times, especially in the main scene in the movie when her classmates are humiliating her during her senior prom by faking making her the prom queen just to get her to stand on stage to pour a bucket of pig's blood all over her. Lashing out on everything and everyone in the prom before she locks all of the doors, setting the place on fire and literally killing everyone. Definitely a very evil scene and something rather emotional as well at that. Next up on the list we do in fact have The Mist from 2007. This is a very creepy Armageddon movie based from a Stephen King novel yet again. It really is freaky and will leave you hating fog after watching it. This is a movie based on the survival of a family who end up in a shop when a mist comes along that actually has creatures inside that are killing everyone and anyone who visits inside this mist. People trying to leave the shop and try and venture out to get to families themselves end up resulting in them getting pulled by these mysterious tentacle arms belonging to some unknown 
obviously deadly creatures. Definitely creepy, definitely a very good Armageddon movie to watch, so you should definitely add that one onto your list. To number sixth place here, we do in fact have In the Tall Grass. This is one of the most recent movies on today's list, being made in 2019. Now this is a supernatural horror drama based on Stephen King and Joe Hill novel, In the Tall Grass. The movie will really leave you head scratching and biting your nails as you try and figure out what exactly is going on. The movie starts with a couple who hear the voice of their child in the tall grass that is surrounding the roads they're driving on. Going in to explore and nothing but scary and strange instances happen. Meeting others all stuck in this never ending almost maze like tall grass. Let's just say it's super jumpy and make sure you watch this movie with the lights on or you might never walk in tall grass again. Now halfway through our list in fifth place today we do in fact have the 1990s Misery. Misery is a story of a man Paul who is a very successful author and on one snowy day when he's driving along he actually is involved in a car accident. Becoming unconscious, a nurse, Annie, comes to his rescue and said that he is completely bedridden with broken legs and a broken shoulder. With her taking care of him, she insists that he returns to writing, making a follow-up book to one of his most famous books that he ever writ, which was in fact Misery. He wasn't sure at first, but he decided he would take on the task with her obvious persuasion. However, as every passing day go by, we actually realise as an audience things really aren't as they seem, and Annie isn't so good after all. She even then went through the extreme of tying his legs to a plank of wood before smashing them with a sledgehammer just to make sure he really couldn't escape. It is a severely messed up psychological thriller movie, but it really is a must watch on all horror movies from Stephen King. Now going into fourth place here, we do in fact have Pet Cemetery, another classic with also another remake. However, today we'll be focusing on the newer one since it's basically like the old one, just with modern graphics and a nicer filming style, as critiques say. Pet Cemetery is the story that follows a family who moved to a new house surrounded by the woods. They later find out, however, that in the woods there is a pet cemetery. And when they find a dead dog on the side of the road, they think that burying the dead dog there is a good idea. However, it really is not as it seems. This was actually a gateway into a dark and twisted set of events that hit the family and it's very spooky. So I warn you, if you watch this movie, a friend next to you might be recommended. Now next up here in third place, we do in fact have the 1984 Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn is a classic Stephen King story, based from the novel telling the story of a couple who end up in an abandoned, small Nebraskan town. This is when all good things turn evil, finding out that all the children in the town are part of a murderous cult who worship a demon that lives in the cornfields. This makes the children kill everyone over the age of 18, and with this new couple in town, you better know that they're the children's next victims. This is definitely a movie you'll watch and be scared of seeing children after, but don't worry, it's just a movie. And thankfully there isn't a place like this in the real world. Now coming into our second place is one of the greatest classic movies in general ever made. And it is in fact The Shining. This movie was made in 1980 and honestly you can't believe that it was that long ago. It's a horror movie classic based off of the novel and I think it's safe to say that we've all had the quote, here's Johnny in our life. It's the movie that starts with a family who head to a hotel for the winter as the dad's a writer and he needs to go there. However, over time, a sinister presence influences him into random acts of violence. All while his son finds out that he's psychic and he can actually see dead people, who yes, we get to see throughout the movie. One scene is even the famous scene shot with the little boy riding his own little tricycle through the hotel corridors before coming to a halt as twins are standing in front of him. Now Stephen King did write the story, however the 1980 movie was directed by Stanley Kubrick, whereas he actually directed his very own take of a TV show from 1997 that many people didn't even really knew existed. This is definitely a very creepy horror movie and definitely a must watch if you've not ever seen it before. Now coming in in our first place spot today, we obviously have the one and only It. 
Now, whether it's the OG 1990 movie or the latest adaption movie, which was made in 2017, as well as part two in a later year, we all have heard of the famous killer clown Pennywise, the one clown capable of haunting all of our dreams. For that, this movie has made its way into our number one spot on today's list. Where a lot of the movies on this list are creepy and have many scary moments in them, the movie It, however, is a movie that is literally petrifying for every second throughout the movie with Pennywise popping out at any moment. So there you guys have it, that is indeed our top 10 list of the scariest Stephen King movies of all time. Let me know down in the comments which one of these movies you think is the scariest and if any others that didn't make it on this list today. But anyway guys, thank you for watching the video. Obviously subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys later.